Okay. Another day. Wednesday. Uh, whatever date this is. I think it's the 17th. Anyway, I'm doing a slack pack here. Here's the uh, Pacific Crest as it crosses uh, Freedom Road. La Cienega Ranch is this area. i back it up in here. And uh, there's the southbound direction. So it's about 15, 16 miles, mostly downhill, a little up here to start, but not too much. Should be a fairly pleasant day. Temps right now, maybe in the uh, mid to high 40s. Hopefully it'll get a little warmer. We'll see. And this is from uh, mile 250 to 266. I'm uh, carrying uh, Pretty much everything except food and a couple of personal items. So a base weight of about 13-ish, which is nice. And uh, I had uh, some padding added to my shoulder straps yesterday in town. So I'm good to try that out. It feels comfortable so far on this uh, ULA Home 2 pack. So I think that'll be a good upgrade. And uh, other than that, we'll do some walking. Here come the animal cages. And uh, those have been the animal cages for the old retired entertainment animals. Word I have is that they've closed and, been, and the animals have been moved possibly over to the other sanctuary run by a uh, female movie star whose name I can't recall at the moment. But there used to be grizzly, grizzly bear, uh, I think some big cats, stuff like that. Kind of a sad place to walk by. Hopefully they have a better life now. Eight fifty, and uh, this is on the summit area. Look at all the snow on those mountains, which I think is in the direction of San Bernardino. Anyway, that's uh, Highway Thirty Eight below, and uh, big bears around the corner there. Uh, Baldwin Lake. Uh, you can't quite see it, but it actually has water in it. I'll be able to see it a little later. And uh, temps is still still pretty chilly this morning. I don't know what my thermometer is going to say, but I'm guessing somewhere near 40. We'll see. Uh, all right, heading up toward uh, where usually there was a cache, the couch. So we'll see if it's there this year. Oh. There goes a, somebody in a truck down there. Interesting. Oh, 11.30 on the slack pack. Um, interesting. Um, just went through Arrow Street Trail Camp a while ago. So I don't know if I'm quite halfway with this or not. But in any event, boy, first part of today was just felt in a fog, lethargic, sluggish. I think a lot of that has to do with the poor quality of sleep I've been getting at the hostel. Uh, partly because sometimes I, a couple of occasions I think I overate. So I have a little kind of over full stomach trying to get to sleep. But in any event, uh, it was interesting when I stopped for a break at Airstree, another guy my age came through, chatted him up, ate some jerky, some other stuff. And after getting back on, and now I'm just feeling completely different, energized to some extent and whatnot. So it's funny how the, thing, you know, the whole dynamics can change um, sometimes. Of course, uh, they can always go the other way too, but uh, I think maybe a little mocha or two in the morning would probably help even though I did eat some breakfast. Uh, 
So, um, I'll uh, truck along here and get this uh, slack pack done. Oh yeah, and the Demdem, there's uh, the creek's running right through Aris Street Trail Camp. Uh, plenty of water along this section of the trail. Whereas in the past years, it's been a bit dry. Here's another crossing, one of many. Uh, across this little stream. Lots of good flow. And uh, I did a wardrobe change back at Aris Tree, so I'm now in shorts, no gloves, sun hat on. And I still have my windbreaker over a cap thermal shirt, but I can feel the need to remove the wind shirt wind jacket fairly soon. It's one of those helium twos. Well, uh, back at the hostel for tonight. The slack pack went uh, very well uh, after the first hour where I felt like I was stuck in the mud, sleepy and whatnot. But I uh, finally took a break, the juju kicked in, and uh, so did the enthusiasm and the endorphins, which is what I need. I hope they continue. Um, not every day can be like that, but hopefully most. You can see my lower lip is trying to recover from Sunburn City. Oh my, I don't know what it is. Um, I try and keep it covered, but boy. Anyway, <coughs> um, I'm going to try and bounce out of here tomorrow, um, which would be Thursday, and start heading toward Duck Owen Pass and Wrightwood. Decently friendly trail. So. I'm hoping I can uh, <clears throat> reach the right wood Sunday afternoon and uh, hopefully get a little better night's sleep tonight, which I think was part of the problem. Maybe have a mocha or two tomorrow morning, put one in reserve. So um, other than that, um, no complaints. Um, glad the uh, hike today uh, finished on the upside. And I'll look forward to a good start tomorrow. All right.